Hi guys, I'm Dr. Hans and this is Dr. Hans Brewery, my channel about beer and home brewing. It's barbecue night tonight. We're doing uh, chicken. It's just uh, deboned thighs. Barbecue means that we gotta have a beer. Uh, this is a uh, Another disaster brew from Simon Arvestrand. Tried one of his disaster brews before and yeah, it was a quite nice beer. So we're gonna open the beer, get it into a glass and also run through Simon's recipe. Was a very, very small hiss there. And of course, we need to get the chicken on the, the barbecue as well. The coals are almost ready. Look at Simon's label. I finish off the cold this way. So, label out. See if you have any carbonation here. This is bottled from the keg. We have carbonation. Not very much though, it ain't holding your head. So this is a lager. I'm gonna run through that. I actually met Simon Arvestrand at the big annual Swedish home brewing event. Simon Arvestrand is one of my patrons. Speaking of patrons, roll the patron list. Seems to be something wrong with the carbonation, but there are some carbonation as you see, but it was a very small hiss, little to none gun smoke and we have no head at all. So maybe we have some trouble there. Yeah, you do get that lager character to it. Also some sweetness. Is it like fruity? Maybe a little too fruity for being a lager. But yeah, let's dive in. Cheers. It's a very, very sweet beer. Can't find any like off flavor with it to it really, but it's extremely sweet. But it's like very, very thick beer. I think it tastes more like an ale really than a lager, Simon. I get like orange marmalade, but that of course is the, uh, the sweetness, I think. It's uh, not clear at all, but it's a really good looking beer. It's a little bit lighter than you see it there on camera, but... Extremely sweet. Let's go through uh, Simon's recipe and see if we can found what happened here so and of course the recipe also goes up on my patreon page in the dr hans recipe book we have like well over 100 recipes now and gotta count them again because way over that now mostly my own recipes of course which i update all the time and uh, also a lot of beer mail recipes so it's growing and yeah, recipes up in the beer mill section in the Simon Arvestrand folder. Maybe it's time to get the chicken on also. Let me just throw the chicken on really fast here. We can fast forward this part. Okay, chicken is on, skin side down to start with. Yes, did like a dry rub with salt, pepper, garlic, onion, and uh, strong paprika powder. Maybe we should like do something with the beer and the chicken also. Sorry guys. Yeah, why not? I have to keep a really good eye here because yeah, chicken is a bitch to barbecue. So like this big area where I can move things around and also can move the coals around. 
okay so this was like a 10 liter batch size and it's a 7% beer original gravity 1078 and final gravity 1022 yeah so uh, yeah uh, it's sweet he used three kilos of pilsner and 100 grams of carrot that's 96.8 percent of pilsner and 3.2 percent of cara red for hops at 90 minutes so this was a 90 minute boil he used 15 grams of halletau mittelfru and at 50 minutes you're 15 grams of halletau mittelfru also and at five minutes he used five grams of halletau mittelfru and uh, this was fermented with fermented soft lager 34 70 w3470 so why did it get so sweet well 1078 quite a thick wort there so maybe you should have uh, diluted it down maybe because uh, the calculation for your recipe said so original gravity should be like 1058 which might have been a I think that was a squirrel Damn, I burnt one of the chickens. No, chicken is fine. Mash profile, 45C at 20 minutes, 65C at 60 minutes, 75C at 10 minutes. So I can't see anything wrong there, Simon. Uh, this was fermented at 10C for four days, 13C for one day, 70C for one day, 19C for one day. Did you stop and take a measurement if it was ready? That's quite a fast turnover there maybe it wasn't just ready maybe the yeast couldn't handle the strength of that wort i don't know simon obviously your sanitation is spot on because there's no off flavor in that at all but it is so sweet so maybe more yeast if you find yourself that the OJ gets this high over that you would expect maybe you had too much boil off or something like that you could always dilute it before adding the uh, yeast sorry keeping an eye on the chicken always check so your fermentation is done before you cold crash it Maybe you did. Sometimes I don't either. I go by eye and sense, but I have brewed a lot of beer, so it's kind of working for me. But um, yeah, you should really check so your FG is stable over like two, three days at least, at least two days, but three days, yeah. That's the uh, recommendation I would give you. And uh, I don't do that always I have to admit so guys if you are new to this channel I do uh, stuff about home brewing and beers we do beer reviews home brew reviews like this one I do brewing videos I do experimental videos I do DIYs videos I'm just starting up the uh, hop growing series when I record this video that is because uh, it's all like back to the future thing with this so if you're interested in home brewing and how to become a better brewer and learn together with me consider becoming a subscriber and do hit that little bell so you get notifications when I post another video like this one maybe not by the uh, the grill but Hey, cheers. What I think I will do with this beer, Simon, because it's a little bit too sweet for me. I will actually use this for the chicken tonight. I will make a little parcel and put the beer in there in foil and uh, cook the chicken all through. And now we'll throw it back on the heat to crispy up that skin. How about that? So, guys, if anyone else wants to send me beer mail, you will find my contact information down in the description box. And there's also my Amazon storefront where you can check out the stuff I recommend, the stuff I use and recommend for both like brewing, serving and filming. 
So if I like it, I will put it there, but I will never link to a product that I don't like if I don't tell you otherwise in that video, of course, and there's a reason for it. Cheers, guys, and thanks for watching. Dinners is not ready quite yet. So cheers, guys. Dr. Hansaus. <laughs>